With only three hours and seconds counting before the world ushers in the new year, it's been a beehive of activities as different people get ready to usher in 2011 in pomp, style and colour, depending on where one will be. We began with the round through churches and our first stop is Jubilee Christian Church where the sound team was busy checking and rechecking the sound systems to make sure that no one misses out on the word in tonight's overnight prayers as the faithful bid goodbye to 2010. At the Nairobi Chapel, the organizers of the totally sold out concert were fine tuning things as they anticipate a huge crowd tonight ready to accommodate everyone from all ages. And this is going to be the place to be to cross over to 2011. There's lots lined up for you. We have three venues set up that you can come and just enjoy different um, blends of entertainment. So for a long time, the church has been referred to as a sleeping giant. But for this year, the country saw the church stand up in unison as it took its stand on the constitution. We met with ACK's Archbishop, His Grace Eliud Wabukala, and he explains what a year it has been for the church. The year 2010 has been a very interesting year, challenging but very educative. Uh, in January, I declared the year of the Lord's favor upon us. And indeed, it has been, uh, we have lived to that challenge. Uh, they are, it, is, it was a time of consolidating, of learning, and of building uh, structures that will take us through to the next many years to come. Indeed, it was a tough year for him and his family as he lost his wife late this year and he thanks all those who stood with him. I want to thank you so much, all Kenyans and all you media people and all the support and the encouragement that you gave us. The Right Honourable Prime Minister is also among the political leaders who were the first to wish the country a happy new year and a prosperous 2011. Fellow Kenyans, we are approaching the end of this year. As we close the chapter on the year 2010, we can look up with optimism. We must end this year on a positive and optimistic note. And as for revelers who would like to welcome 2011 in style, the clubs in town are stocked up and ready to have you as their guest. We were at Clubhouse, popularly known as K1, and here it was all systems go as the management got ready for the big event tonight. Uh, about Nyamachoma, about the kitchen, we are ready for that. Yeah. Many of those we spoke with say 2010 was a tough year and hope that 2011 will be a little easier. Uh, the, the year has been so good, but too tough. But is, uh, we thank God at least we are almost heading to the end of it. But, uh, at least we've tried to work hard to make it successful. Well, indeed, it has been a sweet, sour kind of... Yeah, a year with ups and downs, but very exciting. And with me is the team that has been bringing it to you live at your home. Here we have editors who make sure that you watch the best of the best. We have reporters who go to the ends of this world to make sure that you have the story. And also we have the news anchors who make sure that you have the story as it has been told. Here we have Mary. She is one of the video editors. Mary, how was 2010 and what do you want for 2011? 2010 has been great, and I do expect even better one in 2011. Absolutely. And we have one of our researchers, anything we want researched, she's the one who does it. We call her Kanyawi. Kanyawi, how, how has it been for you, 2010? 2010 was challenging and great, and we expect 2011 to be even better. 2010, a really a challenging place, but all oh, people want it to be a better. We have Gwiji Manye. Tuambie, mwaka wa... Elf kumi, elf mili na kumi, umekuaje na matarajia yako ni hapi? Nafikiri umekua ni mwaka wenye panda shuka nyingi, uh, shuguli nyingi zimefanyika umunchini, kuidhinisho kwa katiba mpya. Vile vile umekua mwaka ambao uh, hasa katika msimu huwa disemba kumetokea jali nyingi, watu umepoteza maisha yao uh, kwa sababu ya sababu moja unyengine, ulevi na masola kama hayo. Lakini tunataraji kwa mba mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na moja, utakuwa na mengi ya kujivunia hasa kwetu sisi wanahabari. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, there you have it from Citizen News Team. We wish you.